how did I get into pigment just painting? Uh, well, um, I would have answered that a little differently. I would have told you that it was because I wanted to be different than the other artists out there. I wanted to do something that was really different because everybody else, they just copy what the other artists are doing. I am Steven Stefanowski and I am the world's first pigmentless painter. But the more I thought deeper about it when I knew that y'all were gonna interview me about it, I um, thought back a little more and I realized it really was uh, related to something that I used to do in my younger years and that was that I was into air collecting. I don't know if you've heard about air collecting. Yeah, well, it's, um, it was real big back in the early nine, maybe mid nineties, really big. Well, kind of big. There was quite a few people that did it. I could have gotten into collecting baseball cards or comic book cards, but what was so interesting about collecting air was that you can't see it, but yet it's really there. And that's a lot more interesting than getting baseball cards or football cards because yeah, they're there and you can see them, but that's why you know they're there. With air, you can't see it, but yet it's there. And then um, it got to be kind of a thing where my parents wanted me to kind of move on to um, other things and so I got into art so I really thought about getting into it and going to school for it but then it hit me that I could just do invisible art and I guess it was inspired by the air collecting I had done and I realized that now only now looking back on it and I realized that's a genius idea that is a genius idea because no other artists are doing it I could have done any kind of art but instead I chose to do something that nobody is doing and as you can see there's hardly anybody doing it the way I do it even now there are probably some people who are wanting to copy my style because I'm gaining notoriety they're even doing a documentary about me so I think I'm really making headway and the genre is really starting to expand and there's no telling what might come out of this no, well, you keep calling it invisible painting, and that's, that's not what it is. That's, it's pigmentless painting. It's visible. You just have to look a little closer than you would on a regular paint canvas where everything is spread out to you in big, bright colors. With this, it takes more of a creative eye. You have to be just as creative as the painter is when you look because it's pigmentless and happens to also be invisible, but it's pigmentless painting, that's what I like to call it, and that's what it's going to become known as it becomes more and more uh, a bigger genre. The paint, it has no pigment in it. It's the base for the paint. You have to imagine a lot more than the average artist would because they can see what they're doing. I can't see what I'm doing, so it makes it a lot harder to be able to paint things in the right place. I really have to uh, hand-eye coordinate and I mind imagination hand coordinate to make these projects come to fruition. A lot of times it is hard, harder than other, other art forms probably are because um, it's a lot harder to get recognition that you would get if you were doing something that people could see and actually witness. Like if someone's performing a dance, it's easy to tell what they're doing because you can look and you see that they're dancing. If someone paints a picture with bright paintings or sings a song that you can hear, these are all things that you can easily pick up with your senses. And by doing that, it makes that art so much easier for those type of artists to produce and to become accepted and it's a lot harder in the pigmentless paint world because since the people can't see what's there it makes it a lot harder for them to appreciate what's there the galleries they're not very accepting they don't want to give you a chance but who knows because things change all the time. Things that weren't accepted before are accepted now. Look at Picasso. Look at what nobody knew what he was painting and now he's one of the most famous painters of all time. Well, people don't know what I'm painting either, even if they look at it. But 
in time. I have faith. I'm real optimistic about how this could turn out in the coming years, coming months even. What kind of question is that? Why, why would mental health have anything to do with art? I know there's been artists who have had mental health issues, but that's not a real common thing with artists, so I really don't know why you just ask me that, because I'm perfectly solid individual and always have been, haven't really had any problems whatsoever in life. I've got a decent job, I had it for years, and I'm moving on up, still moving up there. I'll probably move up from fry cook to shift leader very soon. And that's always a good thing because job security can get you a long way in life. And I get a lot of inspiration at work. First, you get your paint right here, and then you take the lid off of it. Take your brush, dip it, you get a little bit, not too much, because you don't want it to drip, and then the parts get mixed in with each other, you don't want that. So, you get that, and you just start painting. This one I've been working on for a couple of weeks. It's been a while. I had some other obligations. But if you could see it, you would see that it's actually a nature portrait of nature. See down here, we've got some different things going on. But I don't want to mix wet paint with dry paint. Here. See that? It's going to look better when it's done. It's going to look great. You don't know that it's a mess. You can feel it, but you really can't tell. Nobody else would even know that I have paint all over me right now. These are my paint clothes. I always wear these when I paint because I don't want to have paint on all my clothes, so I wear my work paint clothes. And so, that is pretty much the process of pigmentless paint. Especially in the beginning years, it was real real uh, depressing because I was real excited about what I was doing and I would tell them I'm doing pigmentless painting and they're like what's pigmentless and then I'll explain to them what it was and they'll be like I oh, wish you were an invisible loser and these kind of things and uh, it really hurt it really did hurt to hear those type of things but they don't know because what do they paint what do they paint even if they do paint it's the same old stuff that everybody else paints colors bright things that are easy to see, where the mind doesn't even have to put in any kind of effort. Sometimes, if you want to use a different type of stroke, you need a different type of brush. So, you'll get that, kind of dip that in there. This one's a wider one for doing kind of a fan stroke. You see here, see? Kind of, see, this is clouds. Clouds right here, I'm doing. really nice and it's helped me to be a better person and I hope that when you see my paintings they'll help you to become a better person too. Remember that just because you can't see it doesn't mean you can't believe it. <laughs>